I mean, I think that's that's the that's the future, isn't it? We want to understand what's what's behind the scenes, oh, how it works. Absolutely, and I think also for the for the paddlers, that's a good thing to to be pre present in the media. And most of them, and pretty much all of them, play the game. And we unfortunately only do it in English, and then they all get their all get their words out. Yeah, but that's also the way how you communicate uh, under the athletes each other. So let's go for the K2, 1,000 meters. Stars are all around here. There's lots of uh, big names from the past, the present, and probably the future. Again, we've got five of the nine finalists from last year. Kubilosh and Penner, they came sixth last year. They won a World Cup, and they've uh, they massive height difference. Normally, the the, the 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 chap in the back can't see, but he's got a lovely view this time. Absolutely, yeah. And they also have the the world record or world best time last year in Saga. They did the 3:05, which is just incredibly fast. Rennie Holton Poulsen and Morton Graveson. Rennie uh, has medals in this, uh, going back many many years, and. Uh, Really, really a top athlete. We have the young, we've been saying the young for the last four or five years now, they're really coming to their own. It's uh, Riley Fitzsimmons and Jordan Wood. So if you're watching in the early hours of Australia, uh, it's hopefully going to be worth the effort. Max Hoff, Marcus Grace. Max gets so nervous. He's 35 years old now, and he says every day he's like a little boy and never gets used to it, but he's uh, really up for it. These are the boys to beat, certainly. Tomasovic and Zoric. They, they look fairly lightweight, especially uh, Zoric, but they can really make the move. They're the defending champions, by the way. Here we have uh, Mizevic and Urania. Again, they're real, really top athletes, still annoyed that they missed out on the Olympics and uh, they've got something to prove. Geller, Botek, they came second last year. Maxime Beaumont, well, yes, he goes in every category. And uh, Guillaume Berger, they're going to be looking to watch out. Nikosias and Olnik from Lithuania, who are fast starters. Interesting to know with Maxime Beaumont and Guillaume Berger from France, they know exactly the water temperature. They cross the line in their semi-final. They lean back, Maxime Beaumont, lean back to put his hand back to congratulate Berger, and they fell in, which is really <laughs> stupid. 21 degrees the water is, so it's, uh, it's okay. But uh, Maxime Beaumont, obviously an Olympic medalist from the C K1 200 meters, he's also rather good at the other events. So it's, uh, they're just chopping around, and he basically, the reason he's doing different events, he needs the motivation. Anyway, they are off, and it's a great start from the French sprinters. They've done it all the time so far uh, this week. They've been the first to make. If it's a 200 meter race, they'd certainly be off. Here we go. Sprinting power. Uh, they couldn't in the first heat where it was only the winner went through and uh, the Germans won that. They really sort of fell apart at the end. Yeah, I'm surprised about a fast start from Germany. I expected that the Australian would be first in the first 30 seconds, but Maybe this will change a little bit. Yeah, but Marcus Grace, uh, he, he's, a, he's a very interesting character. They always have a tactic, and they never tell you before. In fact, <laughs> when, they, when the World's a couple of years ago, they actually did. They said, we're going to go and, and, and move at uh, 600 as opposed to 750. <laughs> uh, and, and no one believed them, and they did exactly that. So they're all great tacticians. They're first through the, the, the first level. Obviously, Rennie Paulson's uh, pulling hard. Max, Max Hoff came across from, uh, from wild water racing. You've done a bit of that as well, so it's, it's, yeah, you absolutely. athletes can adapt a lot. Yeah, absolutely. We raced also together, but uh, I was maybe 16 and he was already 25 then. But um, yeah, I know Max Hoff for quite a while. One of the real uh, gentlemen of the sport, likes to train by himself. And here's the uh, superstar, Rennie Alderpool. He's been quiet for the last couple of years. Yeah, like the Rio Olympics was really not his Olympics, Olympic Games. And also last year he was not performing at his best. And um, yeah, maybe this K2 can help him to come back into the medals with confidence. Halfway stage, still very tight at the beginning. And like you see, the bottom three lanes, the uh, Slovakia with Geller and Botek, who were second last year, they've really fallen off a pace a bit, a bit. Maxime Beaumont, it, it's not surprising they've come off. This isn't great. Uh, this, is, this is a spider cam, so this is between about 300 to 450 mark, where they have four big cranes, 40 meters high, suspended, and they literally have the cables coming in between. They have one operator uh, on the, the cables, one with the camera, and this is now the front images, which shows Max Hoff and Marcus Graves exactly in tune. How do you see the, the, the management of the race? Uh, yeah, it's interesting that they've fought back now and uh, to the... To the top of the field but also you can see now the, the boat from Serbia is, is coming back into the game again 
and they are really late late or good finishers, I want to say. And um, yeah, Max it will be very interesting to, next minute. Starting to pant a little bit. Now we're seeing the really close action at the moment. Australians still out of the picture, but they're looking very dangerous. Making a second push there. So the Germans have upped the straight rate with less than 100 meters to go, and they're pulling away. This is quite remarkable. Absolutely, and also Spaniards in lane one come back, maybe for a medal. Well, this is impressive. They can hold on to it. Spain really fast finishing. The angle's slightly deceptive. We've only got about 30 meters to go, but it looks like Germany's going to hold on for a, a famous victory unless they fall out of the boat. Well done, Germany. World champions, K2 1000. Great finish by looks like Spain and Serbia didn't quite have the gas at the end. That was a great, great performance. Yeah, and a great <laughs> race as well. A lot of changing. And I don't know about the bronze medal. Did you see it? Was really I think close. it was. I think it was the Serbians. Okay, I think as well, but I'm but, not sure. Well, uh, Russian Penner. Well, they <laughs> they they kept it quiet, and then the last hundred meters they really came up. Absolutely, that was a really great tactic from from the Spanish crew. Uh, Look at the start <laughs> from Maxime Baymont. <laughs> Just another Imagine. league. <laughs> Bravo. But they did well, didn't they? Because it looks like they've been caught. Then it was at 750 meters. They really upped the pace of yeah, it. Absolutely. And also Denmark was in front at 500 meters, but they came back. And that's the first world championship title for Max Hoff in the K2. That's also quite remarkable. Olympic champion in the K4. And we're going to see those two in the K4 later. Max Renschmidt, who is an Olympic champion himself, will be going in the 1000 meters. And <laughs> this is a great crowd. This, we had a, a load of Spanish here yesterday making an awful lot of noise. I thought it was a stack party, but it turns out they're all athletes and friends of. Absolutely. They, it, it sounds like a, like a football game is when the, the Spanish fans are, are cheering. And I'm pretty sure they are going crazy right now when the first medal from, for Spain in this world championship. The reason we don't know that is they're about 100 meters away. So we are 20 meters after the finish. There they are. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's the boys. The Spanish, yeah, it's great. They've all got their lovely umbrellas. You need the umbrella because the sun really is quite punishing. But they're, uh, they've, they've, they've made the day so far. Normally it's the Hungarians. Maybe they have to wait till next year. Yeah, and um, Sevilla, maybe the, the city of Spain is only five hours away from here. And a lot of kayakers come from there. And this is sure the reason why so many Spanish fans are Gold here. medal. World Champions 2018, Hoff and Grace, Kubelos and Pena, Silva, Tomisovic and Zoic in third with just missing out by 0.25 of a second are Fitzsimmons and Woods. Their day may well come. But I think the Spanish are going to go up and, and maybe have a chat to their have a chat to their fan base. So, as you say, but you can see the, the conditions, but I think that's probably made Max Hoff, who's the last couple of, of years, he looks so decided. <laughs> you, you're, you were in the early stages of this race. What, what, are, are you, uh, do you have ambitions to keep going and be motivated? Um, I suppose you're part timer now, so it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Um, I don't really know how it will um, go on the next uh, couple of months with, with training okay. because I have a new job, so. I will see, um, and I also have to analyze these world championships, how uh, I will continue my paddling career. What is sure is that I will paddle forever because I love this sport, and I think of every athlete here, you just, you're so connected with this sport, you can't just stop, stop it. Fabio V is from Switzerland, who was in Rio at the Olympic Games, but here, here the boys, I think we're going to have a word, if they can, if they can breathe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Germany again. It's Marcus Gross and Max Hoff. Marcus and Max, I know you were so disappointed to miss out on a medal last year. You've come out here this year and you've won gold. Tell me, what does this mean for you, Marcus? It's great to win gold. It's every time too great to win. And uh, after last year, it was a little bit difficult for us. But we found together again this year. European Championships was good, but not perfect. So we work hard on our race uh, tactic. 
and it was absolutely good now. It was great. Well, congratulations. That's two gold medals from two races for the Germans. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for our gold, silver and bronze medalists in the men's K2 1000. Well done, Germany. Remember a few years ago, they, they had, uh, had a few problems.